so hello my fellow earthling in this video i'm gonna show you how you can set macros to uh, a mouse button so this is the mouse i've reviewed on my channel so if you want the uh, mouse review you can uh, go to my description and there's a link for the review video of this mouse so you can watch watch it out and uh, i want to thanks uh, rahul goswami for giving me this idea to create this video he he actually asked me to create this video in the comments so thank you rahul goswami for suggesting me the video now in this video i'm going to show you how you can uh, bind a macro to any of the mouse button so for this example i'm going to bind a rapid fire micro for mouse button 8 this one so how you do it now let's jump to the uh, tutorial now first you have to go to macro editor uh, you have to create new macro and name it like uh, in my case i'm giving it a test macro name not test macro name the macro name is test macro so yep this is the macro name now click on this macro and uh, insert the key list so uh, what we enter here we enter here the uh, number of uh, the specific uh, sequence of button which got pre uh, which got executed when this micro starts the execution so let me show you with an example what i mean like uh, if i want to insert an event like uh, which is the left mouse button click so this three uh, this three uh, this three event means that uh, the mouse button is pressed is still pressed for 50 seconds and then it is released so this three events constitute a single event which is the mouse click the button is clicked like if it's pressed and it keeps on pressed by uh, about for 50 milliseconds then it is released so this is the delay uh, which happens when we click a mouse button so this three event constitute a single event which is mouse pressed mouse button press so so what we want from rapid fire button micro we want uh, rapid fire macro to perform like if we keep keeps on pressing the button like we have pressed the button and we keep on uh, and the button is uh, pressed for a long time then it should behave like the button is uh, rapidly clicked like clicked again and again and again while we are holding the button down so this is what we want so for that we want to cycle this behavior like the button is clicking again and again so we want this cycle until the key is released but uh, we have to insert one more thing in this which is delay delay is the uh, amount of time which we uh, which we require between the button clicked once the button is clicked and again when the button will get clicked then the delay between those click uh, between those two click we want to give it here like i want to give it 100 millisecond delay so after 100 millisecond the button will get clicked like it start from here like this three event will execute it after 100 millisecond so this cycle will uh, repeat itself again and again uh, until and unless i release the rapid fab uh, this mouse button 8 for which i'm creating the macro so let's save this so the micro is created macro is created so let's close this now uh, just uh, this is the button 8 we uh, just click on that and go to macro and select the test macro which we have created just click on that and apply it now let's see how it performs in the game let's open the game and see how it performs here we are in csgo and this is clock it needs to be pressed again and again to shoot so let's see if it's work or not so as you can see i'm just holding my mouse button 8 and it keeps on get firing firing it keeps on firing so yeah the rapid fire button is working let's test it with another one so this is ak so normally the recoil of ak is like this as you can see this is the normal recoil now let's test the recoil with the rapid fire button so as you can see this is the recoil with the rapid fire button so a huge difference between between both of them if you want to decrease the recoil then you have to increase the delay uh, between the two button press 
so i've set it 200 you can set, set it to 150 or 200 if you want to just decrease the recoil more but it will lower the fire rate also so just find a balance between both of them and you will be good to go so this is how you set the macro for the mouse button and uh, uh, that's it for the video and if you like always if you like the video then hit the thumbs up button and if you do not like do not like the video then uh, first subscribe then email me that you did not like the video i have to try something else and then you can leave and uh, so that's it i will see you in my next video till then eat right sleep tight and do whatever you like guys